guys, welcome to tonight's Big Brother 19 chat. This is really exciting. Why, because it's episode 27? Well, because Zingbot's here, finally. He's We're not there yet. But I'm just so excited for Zingbot to All rip right. these people Put some new a-holes. <laughs> Last time, Mark and Jason were nominated. No, they weren't. Last time, Matt and Jason were nominated. <laughs> but Mark is the backdoor plan this week. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Jason's not worried. Bye, Shabbat. Paul decided that they did not show this right on the show. They tried to make it seem like Christmas decided that Jason was going to be target number two. But no, it was Paul. He was like, this is what we're doing. Jason is the secondary target. And she was like, yes. Well, there is a little alliance of Paul, Christmas, and Josh. They've been working together pretty much this whole time, but this week they really solidified themselves as a trio. And they placed themselves in the middle of the other two couples. Well, that's Paul's plan. He's going to pit the two couples, Maven and Alex and Jason, against Jealous. each other. <laughs> So that they can take each other out and do his dirty work for him. Poor little Kevy's just floating around by himself. Kevin's ex flipping lots of double birds tonight. He's collateral damage, I'm afraid. Mm, maybe he'll like have a winning streak or something. You never know. You never know. You never know. Maybe he's been sandbagging this whole time. No. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Mark has been reading the Bible, drinking his own tears. He knows what's of coming. Elena. Obviously, he's all alone right now. He knows it's not a good thing that he's not on the block right now. Yeah. He so he's just like, please let me play in the veto. Well, it's time to play, to click players, put it in Click some players. <laughs> all right. So it's like crucial for Mark here that he gets picked because if he doesn't, ooh, it's not going to be good for him. Well, Christmas picks first and she gets house guest choice. So she picks... Raven. What? That's weird. That's weird. Prior to this, Raven was like, hey, um, can I play? I really want to play. And Christmas was like, we'll see. So here she, you know, here we go. She gave her the opportunity. But we'll talk about that in a minute more. Then Matt, it was his turn. He also got house guest choice and he said, yes, Paul. <laughs> Paul. Paul. Yeah, right? Okay, so then... One final pick belongs to Jason. And he picks not Mark, not Mark, not Mark. <gasps> and what? Mark was like, <laughs> and Jason was like, oh yeah, everybody was like, because if Mark wins, this whole plan is for the yeah. week. All right, so Jason is feeling a little bit weird about how this player draw yeah. went down because he's like, why did Christmas choose? Raven and even Christmas in the diary room is like why did I choose Raven? <laughs> well, she cooks up a quick explanation. Well, wait, even in the DR she's like, "Oh, it was like a brain fart or whatever." Um, painkillers. And I'm not just saying that to be a jerk, but like she's admitted that she was just chilling out for like weeks on these painkillers, just like ah, having a good time. Yeah, but wouldn't anybody on painkillers be like that messed up because she must that's what i'm them. saying i'm saying she's it's not like she's like hey give me some more pain no i'm kids. just saying like she's been sitting around a lot on those painkillers and this could have been a painkiller. Well, why couldn't moment. she just say that but then she had to say like oh i picked her because i needed a more d diverse team i wanted to have a d diverse team <laughs> so we could be insured of Winning the veto? Um, honestly, I don't think she explained it right here because, I mean, in the diary room, because they've, like, solidified this alliance, this final five, with Matt and Raven. So, she wanted Raven in on the action. But anyway, she tells Jason, like, yeah, I wanted to, you know, we had the, the big players and the small players, and we needed, like, the future Abby medium Lees. players. <laughs> But Jason is like, why the hell would she choose Raven, who's won nothing, over no Alex, Alex, who's a comp beast? Yeah. It just doesn't add up. So he's like, what the hell's going on here? And Paul and Alex are trying to calm him down and be like, it's okay, it's fine, like, relax, it's all good. She's not the fastest scooter in the shed. <laughs> all right. <laughs> now you can celebrate. <gasps> Yay, Zing Oh my goodness, and this segment was so long because there's been nothing else going on this week. <laughs> Zingbot 
9,000 who's president of Planet Zing. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought a TV reality contestant could ever become president of Planet Zing? <laughs> they did get a little political here a few times. Actually, not a contestant, a host, I guess. Just a star, reality TV star. Who do you think's in that Zingbot suit? I've always wondered that. I was really hoping that Zingbot was going to take his head off and it was going to be either Cody or Jess, but it wasn't. Maybe it's <laughs> a relative of uh, Chenbot. I don't know. Maybe it's uh, Les and Julie's son. No. What, <laughs> what do you think Julie looks like when she takes off her Chenbot costume? I don't know, but let's talk about the Zings. All right, Kevin did not know what was going on, so the Kevin whole time he's just like <sighs> only had birds for Zingbot. Yeah, it was so funny. Everybody's freaking worshiping Zingbot like he's Paul, and then <laughs> Kevin is just standing there like, "Who is this guy?" <laughs> I ain't gonna bow to this. Hell no, not some robot. All right, mm -hmm. the, the Zings were okay. I wonder year. if they have secondary zings that they don't show on TV because they're not like appropriate. They must. I don't know. They I, must. Well, I don't know. Maybe they also do like multiple zings with like different wording but the same idea and they see like what lands the best. I can you know remember what I mean? last season and the seasons, all of the seasons of Zingbot where they had multiple zings for That's each one. That's what I'm one, saying. I remember in the past they were different. multiple zings so I feel like maybe there were other ones and they just pick out the funniest one and the best reactions. If these were the funniest ones... You guys need some new writers. Well, they also don't want to make it too controversial. Well, they kind of did. <laughs> All right. Well, they, anyway. They told Mark he was a bisexual because every time he tried to get sexual with Elena, she said, <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. It was okay. Alex, this one, it sounded like it was for Alex, but it wasn't because Zingbot was all like, you're uh, carrying around all this dead weight. And they made it sound like it was for her punishment with the right. camp equipment, but it was Jason. Ooh. <laughs> but Jason's been stepping it up lately in, yeah, in I, winning Yeah, I didn't think that was that funny because I don't really think he, she's carrying him. I was... um. A little bit surprised that they use that too because it definitely outed them as a duo. Like everybody knows that they're a duo, but still. Yeah. I'm surprised that they went there with the alliance. All right. Well, Raven was up next, and Zingbot's like, hey, you got the clownitard punishment. And she's <laughs> like, what you talking what? about? <laughs> Everyone was just like, and then Zingbot was like, oh, wait, it's just your face. <gasps> <laughs> she but does she wear a lot it. of makeup. But she didn't get it. Did they tell her to wear the dark makeup for the DR? Maybe. The dark lipstick? Maybe. I don't I don't know where she found that. She probably found it in a drawer somewhere from like BBOTT when they had the Halloween makeup. Uh, she's been wearing it all season though. <sighs> yeah, she didn't get it. She seemed a little disappointed. What was she hoping? Hey, you're riding Matt's wiener to the middle. <laughs> Good job. All right. <laughs> Josh, uh, yeah. Josh's reactions here, it was a lot. He was having a good time for himself. He was having a really good time here. <gasps> oh! <laughs> uh. Yeah. You shed a lot of tears in the house, but not a lot of weight. What? I feel like Josh has lost a lot of weight this season. Well, I don't know about a lot, but I think he's lost some. I think some. he's lost weight. He's I can lost see it in his weight. face. Yeah. Why would you fat shame somebody? Especially a crybaby like John. They could have gone so many different ways with that one. <laughs> All right. Paul, yes. Last season, you taught Zingbot about friendship, pissed, and how to lose half a million. I thought instead of saying how to lose half a million, they were going to be like, and this season we learned all about dictatorship. <laughs> but they didn't out him like that. No. I, I thought maybe it would have happened. Or like, you put the dick in dictatorship. <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. Who puts dick in dictatorship? Paul! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Matt, the only thing you've Ooh. done is Raven. Oh, snap. That was one of the best ones, I think, he of the night. He ate some cereal, too. He ate a lot of cereal. <laughs> but they already did a segment on that, so, you know. I'm really... Really surprised all they had for Kevy was saran wrap and it's too freaking late. Oh Well, you didn't really explain that one. 
He he has a uh, saran wrap. On. No, but Zingbot was like, oh, you've been using the saran wrap to preserve your youth yeah. or whatever. Um, it's too freaking late. <laughs> I don't know. I think Kevy looks pretty good for his age. Kevin looks great. Okay. <laughs> Kevin, you don't have to do an effing thing. You're perfect. All right. So then Alex. What's bleach blonde? Wears cat headband ear, yes. whatever, cat ear headbands. Handles wieners. They bleeped it out, but I'm pretty sure they said like a whore. Oh! Because that's all I could think of. Yeah, I wasn't sure exactly what it was since they bleeped it out, but damn, that Savage one went in. Mm -hmm. All right, and Christmas, they... This was the big... Finale. Yes. They did the 12 Days of Christmas tune to 10 broken bones, 9 blah blah blah, 8 surgeries, blah, blah and yeah. it all ended with a... Guilty rodeo clown. <laughs> Ooh. I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, it was okay. I always love when Zingbot stops by. What was your favorite uh, Zing, guys? Leave it in the comments. Leave it in the comments. And what Zing would you have given? Yeah, if you want to write your own Zings, but don't be too mean. Make it funny. Be mean. But don't be, like, really mean. All right. Don't write any for us. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. So, anyway, it's time for the Power Veto competition. And, of course, it is Zingbot themed. He's all, um, I got in trouble because I was working with Puntin. <laughs> To rig the election, so now I gotta get back to my planet. Sounds just like Rocky Horror. You gotta get back to planet transsexual. Yeah, but again, little joke about the politics. But they didn't show it here. But this was like making the house guests freak out a little bit. Like, whoa, really? was the president impeached? Oh. Like, what's going on? <laughs> All right, so it's the old slip and slide. Get out the gallons of Crisco. What and. and Grease it up. I was not expecting this because usually it's an HOH competition, but this yeah. season they're using it as a veto. You had to fill up a big bowl to get the ball out and then you get the veto, but they also had a smaller ball. Flush that toilet. <laughs> and if you fill up the smaller ball bowl. or bowl to get the ball, you get a bowl, but you get eight trips. And a, a big bowl. A bowl? It like was a scoop. A, a scooper bowl. Okay. It was like one of those do -do -do -do, mix it and like with the handle. Scoop. Yeah. You get a bigger scoop. And then you only get to use that for eight trips. Eight trips. Whoa. And if you wipe out on your anus, that's too less. bad. Yeah, it's less. too bad. It's lost. So Christmas did not get to compete in this one because Obby. it would have been really dangerous. <laughs> but you there know, was like a, a picture circulating around Twitter like weeks and weeks ago and people were pretending that it was this competition mm -hmm. and they showed Christmas going back and forth on her scooter. Well, that that would be really great. bad though with the Crisco. All right. I cannot believe in all of the years that they've had this competition that no one has broken a bone doing Seriously, this. Seriously, and there were some bad falls this time around. Christmas was riding around a rodeo clown and broke like a million things in her foot. And this competition's been going on for years. And no serious injuries. Yeah. Not even shook brains. <laughs> I'm sure there was plenty of shook. I don't know. But anyway, uh, Raven and Jason were the only ones really going for that smaller container. Right. Paul went for it last season and it didn't work out for him because so he like, couldn't get his tiny fingers I'm not in doing there that to get this the time. ball out. Yeah. So... Raven fell on her pacemaker. What's up Ooh, with that? She fell like right on her front. <laughs> it looked Did really painful. Did that do painful. anything to her? It I mean, looked that really thing painful. like sticks out. I was so scared for her. It was scary. Yeah, Mark was falling a bunch of times. He was having Mark a lot of fell problems with a it. A lot. Yeah, Paul's a like lot. crawling around on the floor. I'm surprised. No, why don't they make them wear helmets? They should wear helmets. They for should this wear one. helmets, right? Because that would be pants? really bad. And elbow pads? Maybe. And... At least helmets. Yeah. At least helmets. Come on, big brother. Get with it. Uh, Jason ended up getting this the small bowl filled. Mm -hmm. So he got his scooper and... It made a big difference. It did make a big difference. And he won the veto. Yeah, I mean, he was way ahead of everybody. It definitely helped that he's, like, super tall. Yeah. And he's athletic. So, mm -hmm. he had a huge edge over everybody. And he was very motivated because he wanted to get his ass off the block. Yeah. I don't think he... He was, like, freak, freaked out by the veto pick, but I don't think he realized just how much trouble he would have been in this week if Mark had won the veto. Yeah. But Mark had no shot at this. No. It was not happening. 
All right, so it's time for Jason to stop being so damn extreme. All right. <laughs> and I'm pretty happy about that. Well, yeah, that helmet, his neck was probably like, and yeah, when he took really. the helmet off. We're gonna need like physical therapy for that. And then Alex, her punishment was over. Thank you for all your delicious wieners. Okay. <laughs> and then or back to the <laughs> back to the game. Uh Mark is not giving up yet. So he asks Christmas and Josh. Hey guys, don't tase me. Are don't there any deals up. to be made here? And I freaking love how Josh is all like high and mighty now. He's like, You're gonna have to give me more than that. I can't stand Josh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I Mark just can't. Mark was like, You're well, Victoria. You're a freaking Victoria. Miami. Shut <laughs> up. Mark was like, you know what? Jason and Alex are huge threats in here. They're a serious power duo. You really want to go up against Alex the next few weeks in competitions? You should take her out. And Christmas and Josh were actually like, whoa. They were a little shook. He's right. Like, Alex yeah. is a huge threat. How did they not realize this before? But then they had another sip of Kool-Aid and said, thanks, bye. Yeah, they didn't show them talking to Paul again when Paul was like, uh, Mark's going. Yeah. <laughs> so then it was time for the veto ceremony. Jason uses the veto on himself. They didn't even have any little speeches or anything. Except for Christmas and her, like, oh, Mark, you're the replacement because blah, blah, blah. I am listening to Paul and... Yeah. That's how it is. So Mark is up on the block against Matt. What's with the slow closes this season? I don't know. What the hell? But um, do you think that Matt is actually worried? He kind of sounded worried in the diary room, but I feel like that was fake. Matt, do you even know where you are? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, that was tonight's episode. Great. The season sucks. All right. All right. So let us know what you guys thought in the comments. And until next time, much, much love. love.